Close your eyes and watch your breath coming in and going out. Just try to stay with it all the way in, all the way out. Don't wander off. Because you're trying to make a change in the mind. And just being with the breath for a few seconds and then being with something else for a few seconds is not going to make much of a change. But if you stay here for a long time, you get to know the mind. And once you know the mind, then you can do something about it, because it actually does have a problem, which is that even though it wants happiness, many things that it does end up causing suffering. So we have to look into why. It's good we have the teachings of the Buddha to point us at this direction, to point out that suffering is not just a problem that we have to put up with. It's something we can actually do something about. We're born into this world. We don't have much time. It's like we signed on to a contract where we didn't look at the fine print, and it turns out there's no handbook. And the fine print is that there's aging, illness, and death. And even if you live for a hundred years, it's still a very short time. And it's not the case that at the end of a hundred years you can take all those hundred years and wrap them up and take them with you. They're gone, gone, gone. Even the memory of them gets very sketchy. And it's good that the Buddha pointed out to us as part of his handbook for human beings that your actions are the most important things and they can focus on and that you can take the results of those actions with you. That's the one thing you have at the end. So you want to make sure that you're creating good things to go. It's like you're packing a suitcase. Then when you get to the other side, you open up the suitcase, you want to find good things, useful things. You want to find snakes and scorpions, spiders. You want to find food, clothing, shelter, friends, opportunities to do good. And you develop those by doing good now. So think of the Buddha's teachings as our handbook for what kind of actions are worthwhile, which ones are not. Keep his teachings in mind, and they'll offer you good guidance wherever you go. So that when the time does come to leave, you leave happily. You leave well prepared. And as the Buddha said, that the good things you've done here will meet with you on the other on the other side. Like relatives who haven't seen you for a long time, happy to see you. So in doing good to you, there's a sense of well-being that comes from knowing that you've done right. And the rewards will last for a long time. Always make sure you stay focused on that issue. And don't let the other affairs of life pull you away.